Hello everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to my Los Angeles hotel room. That's right, I'm recording abroad and I feel really weird because I'm just sitting in my hotel and usually when we chat, I'm at home. But you know what? We love a little bit of change. Welcome. I'm actually in Los Angeles for EA Play, which is an event that EA throws and basically shows a whole heap of new games. If you live in Los Angeles, you may have been to EA Play yourself the last few days, but there was a Sims live stream. In that Sims live stream, we got some serious news about what's coming to The Sims 4, news that I am really excited about. And that is there is a brand new expansion pack called Island Living coming to The Sims 4 very soon. So we're gonna react to the trailer. It was also announced that there's going to be a new stuff pack, The Sims 4 Moschino stuff pack. So it turns out Moschino is actually going to be in a Sims 4 stuff pack with a new fashion photography career. So that's pretty cool. Then there was also an announcement for Pride and that is that there's going Going to be gender neutral bathrooms in The Sims 4, as well as a whole heap of new pride themed items, I guess. And Joey Graceffa, I think it's Joey Graceffa, he was actually the one who announced it on the live stream. So that was nice to see a familiar face. I also am not allowed to actually say why I'm here in America, other than that I have attended EA Play. I can't tell you guys what I've seen, what I have done, but that will be coming really, really soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to keep updated with all of the latest tea because I will be bringing you guys a lot of information very soon. But let's react to this trailer. I have seen it already, but I want to really go through it and nitpick what's new and what we can see in it. So let's check it out. All right, so it is available June 21st. So it is not far away and you can pre-order it now. Uh, the Sims 4 Island of Living, which I think is a pack that a lot of us have been waiting for. We've been definitely wanting a tropical themed pack. So obviously the trailer starts and it looks like we have a brand new world, beautiful blue skies, islands, crystal clear blue waters, and of course, a tropical theme and tropical theme or a tropical themed pack is definitely something that I think a lot of players have been really looking forward to. So I think this looks absolutely stunning. I also can see that there is a little boat in the corner. So love that. And we've got some jet skis going past. How good does that look? Look at the water. It looks so stunning. And this looks like a fishing net of some kind. We can see in the background that there are stilts over the water, so we will be able to build over water. Oh my gosh, can't wait to be building in this. And look at this, we've got some Sims tanning on fronts and backs. This guy looks like a lifeguard if we move back just a tad. Uh, so it looks like we might be able to be a lifeguard or at least there's going to be creative sim assets that allow us to look like a lifeguard. And then this sim is totally burnt. And how many of you guys have been sunburnt in your life? I have definitely been sunburnt myself. Not that many times. I have olive skin, so I don't burn too easily. But in Australia, everyone burns because we're, we've got a hole in the ozone layer. That's a whole other topic. Let's stick to the video. <laughs> yeah, this guy is burnt. And my favorite part about this is he has tan lines. I love that. So cute. So he was wearing a singlet and sunglasses by the looks of things. And he's just super burnt. And then this chick just looks super happy. We've got new hair, beautiful new hair. Is that a new tattoo? I think that might be a new tattoo. New earrings, new matching necklace, new clothes. Looks stunning. I love these clothes. 
And over here, there's a toddler playing in the sand. Sand castles, so pretty. Um, Sims tanning, like we've already seen. And a cute little toddler bathing outfit as well. And a lounge chair just to the side there. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else new in here. No, we've just got the boat. I think that's a new leg tattoo. And look at this. Look at all of the beautiful sea life. Turtles, fish, coral reefs. It's so crystal blue. And I just love how there's just a sim chilling there. I would be so scared to be hit by the boat though. <laughs> and then there's a, a sim here snorkeling by the looks of things. So we can snorkel. It doesn't look like uh, there is deep sea diving because you don't see it from a sim's viewpoint. And I think Americans call these buoys. We call them boys uh, in the water here. But look at all the fishies. They look so nice. And a dolphin. So cute. And I love this uh, roof type. I really hope that's a, a roof we can use in build mode. And then there's like balloons floating over here, whatever that is. Jet ski, jets pass. And it just looks so nice. I feel like I'm going to take a vacation in my game. What was that sim doing on the jet ski actually? Look at that. They're like doing tricks and stuff. Maybe there's like a, I don't know, some kind of skill. And then there's a new tiki bar. Look at this. Look at this shirt over here. It's so sassy. I love it. And it actually looks like these two girls are wearing the exact same outfit in different patterns. <laughs> Just enjoying the island life and check it out. This, uh, this chick's like jumping off the side into the water. Now this is something I don't think we've ever seen in The Sims before. Uh, there is a lot of rubbish on this island and it appears that she is ready to clean it up with these guys. That is a new hair as well and a new rash vest. I am so keen for that hair. We call these uh, rash tops uh, rashies. I don't know if other countries call them that. But look at this. She's got all her friends together. I don't know what this outfit is, um, but they look like they're ready to do some conservation. They are cleaning up the island. This guy's eating a pizza and I just sneezed. And we can see just now that we're actually going to affect the island. All of a sudden there was more greenery uh, as the, the rubbish disappears. There's more wildlife. So it looks like you're going to be looking after the island and having an effect on the environment, which is uh, really really cool lots of butterflies and this sunset's just stunning new plants here hopefully we actually get those in build and buy mode because strangerville we didn't actually get the assets of the trees until they came out in debug mode a little while after so i really hope that, that these are in build and buy mode for those of us who love landscaping and this is interesting this is like this looks like a festival there's a canopy in the corner. There's the fish balloon thing again. Interesting lighting. And there's a volcano as well to the left. So that that might uh, that might cause some disasters. I don't know. There's a bonfire. I mean, it's all very pretty. It's so pretty. I feel like you just want to escape in the game. These guys are dancing. Look at this play suit. Isn't that gorgeous? And a new necklace. There's some really cool clothes, actually. And look at these little ottoman seat things. She's telling them a story maybe i don't know what that is in the background that curvy sculpture thing but this looks like some kind of celebration party maybe there's a new event or maybe it's kind of like city living where you have festivals maybe something like that's going on this is really really exciting i love how they did this how she kind of walks into the water as a human and then this chick's like oh my god look at this chick like this is so cool and she's a mermaid. Isn't that just stunning? And look at the animation. It's so pretty. So we will be getting mermaids in your cult. And yeah, it's probably not for everyone, but I'm excited to have mermaids. I'm, I'm actually really excited for them. Look at how she jumps. Oh my gosh. And the moon is so pretty. I just love how they did this trailer. It's just so beautiful. But yeah, going back, I don't think there's going to be like deep sea diving like we had in The Sims 3. It looks like you can snorkel, but I don't think we're ever going to see underwater, judging by the trailer. So yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm going to keep this short just because I don't have a lot of time to film and edit here. And also my internet sucks at this hotel. So the shorter the video is, the less upload time it's going to take. So sorry about that, you guys. As always, I am sure a lot of you will notice a whole heap of new things in the trailer that I haven't brought up. 
So be sure to sound off in the comments down below so everyone can spot those things as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to this pack. I'm excited. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to speak to you soon.